Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing my last college haul. Luckily, I'm so glad to be finishing these videos, even though you're probably going to be seeing this way later. I'll probably be moved into college already, but whatever. So, yeah, and I want to point that out um, because I'm nearly positive that this is going to go up after I'm graduated. After I'm graduated, wow, that I plan to hold on to this video for four years. No, <laughs> after I moved in because I want to put some videos in between and just space them out more so they're not flooding your inboxes and like making it like crazy. But um, if things are pushed back, it's for that reason. It's because I don't want to put up videos like super, super quick. I'll go ahead and get into the haul. So this is the haul of all of my big things. So kind of like appliance type things and just larger things that I can't really show because they're really heavy or two of the things are in the garage so you're going to be taking a field trip with me down there. But yes, so I will go ahead and start off with probably the most important thing in most people's minds which is a coffee maker. So I got this at on Kohl's.com, um, which is great because they do have the Kohl's cash, which basically makes it cheaper. But I got the Keurig K cup, obviously, um, the single brewing system. It's the K10 Mini Plus Personal Brewer, and it comes with six K cups. So that is just what it looks like. I got the white, which is nice, and it is fairly small, so I'll be able to put it on my bookshelf that I got that you guys will see. But yeah, I just think it's nice. It is three size settings. I believe it's six, eight, and ten ounces, and you guys saw the mugs that I got for this. But um, yeah, it um, brews in under two minutes, and it does brew like right at two minutes. I timed it and it's maybe like a minute 45, maybe a little bit over two, but um, the reason why is because it has to heat up the water like um, for each cup. It's not like the other one where it does it faster and whatever, but um, yeah, so this will be nice. I think it'll look nice in my room. And the only thing I'm not sure about is what I'm going to put my K-cups in. And that's another problem that I feel like I have is that, like, I have a ton of desk and, like, um, what's it called? Like, desk and clothes organization, but I really have no shelving things to put or, like, baskets to put on my bookshelf. I have nothing to put those in. I mean, I'm going to have to use, like, a cup or a box or container of some sort, so I'm not exactly sure, but leave me suggestions, obviously. And then the most exciting thing is a computer. This is obviously essential. A laptop, in my mind, is essential. And it was actually great that I was able to, or it was good timing. Well, not I mean, not exactly, because it's expensive and you're already paying for college, but, um, my, call it, my computer had totally busted. Like, the battery exploded and was about this thick after me not using it. So I don't know what happened to that, but it was just messed up. So I had to get a new one. So I got the MacBook Pro with the Retina display. It is the 13-inch. Uh, this is the 2.4 gigahertz dual-core Intel, Intel Core 8 gig. 256 gigabytes of flash storage, um, so, yeah, got a new computer, and this is what it looks like, I also got a decal for it, because I thought, if I got a new computer, I wanted it to be, like, more safe, and just having a decal on it makes it more secure in my mind, I mean, you're going to be able to spot it out for sure, and just because it would be prettier, so I got this decal from decalgirl.com, and I got a, I found a coupon code, which was nice, but I think it's, oh, I don't even know the name, so I'm not going to try, but it's orange, which is so not me at all, I never do orange, but it has orange and then more of like a teal minty green, but it matches pretty nicely with my bedroom decor, so I thought that was nice, it's just, yeah, pretty, I love it, but yeah, so this is what the MacBook looks like, oh, and I got it with the 
logo or the apple cut out just because I like the way that it looks. But yeah, so this is just what it looks like. Um, as for the inside and stuff, that's just my little background and whatever. But yeah, really nice, lightweight, and will go in my book bag. And then since it's a laptop and doesn't come with this stuff, I got the Magic Mouse, which is just the wireless mouse which you connect. Um, obviously, it just makes it easier when you're at your desk and whatever. And then I also got, because my dad had this on, he has it on his desktop and I think it was on my laptop as well, but it is Office for Mac, so it has the PowerPoint, Excel, I believe that is, and Word. So you just download this and it, um, you know, lets you use Microsoft things, which is nice because I know that a lot of the time downloading things and making sure that fonts and, like, what's it called, um, settings and stuff for essays or projects, it was a really difficult trying to do it on the Mac applications. So having the Office and the Microsoft stuff just makes it easier and just worry-free for the user, so yourself. So yes, that is it for right here. We're gonna go over, over there to see my printer and then downstairs to the garage to see my fridge and my bookshelf. So. But this is the printer that I got. So it is the Brother MFC J470DW. And I know that sounds like nothing to all of you, but if you searched it up, you would find it. But it's cool because it is an all-in-one printer. My grandfather actually got this for me. I had another one in mind, but I actually really love this printer. Um, I've taken it out of the box, and it is fairly compact and small, but like I said, it's an all-in-one, so it obviously prints, and it prints double-sided, which is amazing for paper saving and time saving because you don't have to, like, flip the page over. But yeah, so it prints, faxes, scans, and makes copies, which is absolutely incredible, and you definitely need all of those things. Maybe not the fax, because, I mean, you know... We are in 2014, not like, you know, 20 years ago, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so it has a little retina, um, or not in retina, an LCD display that kind of tells you what's going on, and then the buttons on the front, and it's just easy and um, very user-friendly. So this is the little bookshelf that I got. And it is white because obviously that goes with my room. But it is the Room Essentials from Target 3 Shelf Bookcase. And it basically just looks like that. I think, I believe it's roughly 3 feet tall, give or take a few inches. So it'll be nice. I believe also that, yeah, it has two adjustable shelves, which is nice as well. Because if you had something tall, you could fit it in there or whatever. But yeah, pretty nice, decent sized book shelf, bookcase, whatever, that will just give me a little bit of extra storage. Okay, so I hate having to do this on the computer because it always creates that horrific glare, but I went in the garage to look at my refrigerator and it's just a big brown box, so it doesn't tell you anything. But we ordered it off of Amazon and it is this one here, the Danby, all those letters and numbers, 4.3 cubic foot compact refrigerator in black. And this is definitely not what we paid for it. Um, we bought it maybe three weeks ago, not even, and it was $150. So I'm not exactly sure why it's gone up almost $100, but uh, yeah, I, can't, I couldn't explain that to you. But yeah, so this is what it looks like on the inside. So it has the canned little section which is nice and then I'll probably put my Brita filter in here or somewhere and the rest of the storage it has a little freezer space which is nice because I could put little frozen meals or little ice cream things um, but yeah nice amount of storage a little bit larger and yeah pretty basic refrigerator but definitely something that you need okay so I hope you all enjoyed seeing all of my 
big appliances and just larger items as well. So yeah, I have previously said that I will show everything how I end up kind of setting it up and organizing and stuff. So be on the lookout for that in the kind of further future once everything is settled down. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed all of these college hauls. I know that there were a lot of them and they were each very long videos, but had to show everything. And when you're going to college, you're basically taking a home into a 10 by 11 room and that's your space. So there is a lot of stuff that you have to get and yeah, I think it's interesting and helpful, hopefully. But yeah, I hope you all are having a fantastic day and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.